Good morning, Wash U. Uh, happy first day of class. My name is Dr. Miller, and I'm going to be your college algebra instructor this semester. This is my second semester teaching for U College, but I've worked with Wash U's Prison Education Program for over two years. If you have any questions, I do hope you will email me. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of our Canvas course and talk to you a little more about Alex, which is our online homework platform. So let's give it a go. Canvas course, here's our homepage with a great place to get started. You can go to all the course modules, learn a little bit more about me if you're interested, and check out the syllabus. So let's start by looking at the syllabus and then going over the modules. One thing you might already notice on the right is you've got your to-do list. Um, this is all of the assignments that are due. Um, you can also see those in your class calendar. So if you went to like your calendar, um, it should show you all of your assignments that are due. Okay. So let's, again, let's take a look at the syllabus. That's the important part for us to cover. So here's a PDF of the syllabus, but I'm going to go through it. Um, here's my contact email. Our office hours will be held via Zoom. Please go ahead and fill out that due to poll. Um, this is um, for college algebra. Your Alex course, um, this is where our homework and some quizzes are going to be given through Alex. Um, here's the code for our course. When you sign up, you could also click the link here. Um, that is paid for by the university, so you don't have to buy anything extra, and it does come with a free um, ebook, which is super nice. Um, here we've got our description and the outcomes. I'll let you read that on your own time, um, but I'm going to go over some course materials and how we're going to grade the course. So like I said, Alex is your online homework system. All homework will be given through Alex. Um, and you are prompted to sign up. Once you sign up for Alex, it's gonna ask you to take a skills knowledge check. That's to gauge where you are. So please take your time, make sure all work is your own um, and don't rush it. I definitely recommend you have a graphing calculator. Um, you will need a calculator for the exams. It doesn't have to be graphing. Um, Desmos is a free graphing calculator that you can use on your homework. Um, but you will need a calculator for our in-person midterm and final. Um, I bring some to share. You will also need a notebook, of course, computer access, um, and you are given an e-textbook, but if you'd like to purchase a textbook, here's the information. So how is this course graded? Homework is a, pre a, a big part of your grade. It's 30% of your grade, and it's important to keep up and not fall behind. Because math is cumulative, and the concepts from chapter one are going to be needed for chapter two. The concepts from chapter two are going to be needed for um, chapter three. Be sure to work out your problems in a notebook. I may ask to see examples of your work. All assignments in Alex are due weekly on Sundays. Um, and the homework includes chapter prep, uh, the chapter assignment, time goals, and every now and again, especially before our exams, I'll give you assigned videos on study skills and the like. Extensions may be given on an individual basis, um, but you need to communicate those with me via email. There will be chapter quizzes in Alex. Those are due every Monday. Um, we aren't meeting in weekly, so that's a, a typo. I'll take that off. Um, but there are quizzes in Alex that are due every Monday. There are discussion boards due every Sunday, and you must post first before you see your classmates post. We're going to have by chapter quizzes in Canvas, and you may need to submit photos of your work. And this class is going to have an in-person midterm on Saturday, October 22nd from 1 to 3, and an in-person final on Saturday, December 17th from 1 to 3, so plan accordingly. Um, you will also have a final infographic project, which I'll give out more information about that closer to Thanksgiving. And then there is some extra credit. You can complete uh, weekly reflections, add a profile picture, uh, take your office hour survey, so he, or the syllabus quiz. So here is a breakdown of your grade. Homework is 30% of your grade. Quizzes in Alex are 10%. Quizzes in Canvas are 10%. Your discussion boards, there are 11 of them, 10%, and I do drop the lowest grade of the discussion boards. Your midterm is 15%, your final exam is 
and your final infographic project is 5%. And here's my grading scale. If you need help, you can reach out to me. Uh, we have our tutor. Our tutor this semester isn't Brittany. Our tutor is Anya, and we're very happy to have her. Um, please make sure that all work is your own, and if you have any academic accommodations, let me know. Okay? Please go ahead and read through the syllabus um, so you have all that information. So when you go to our course modules, you're going to see a lot of stuff. I've posted, I believe, the majority of our semester. So I recommend going through the student orientation if you haven't already. Here's our home page. You can complete a poll to decide my office hours, complete a poll for Anya's, take the syllabus quiz, and get started in Alex. Every module is broken up by chapters, so we're starting in Chapter R. We're learning that um, today through September 4th. You got, there's an overview and to-do list that you can read through. This is what I expect of you during the chapter, right? You can mark that done, go back to the module, and you'll see lots of resources. So we've got our class YouTube ch channel. So you can watch the Chapter R lecture videos. There's also a PDF of the PowerPoint. Join in a group discussion and then complete your homework and quizzes. And at the end of the week, complete a reflection. The entire course is recorded and on YouTube. Um, don't feel like you have to watch all of these, but if you are stuck, like this is the time to like be like, okay, how do I figure this out? Um, they all are tagged by concept. So if you're really having a problem, say with like inequalities, um, you can search uh, for that tag. If there are any questions, as always, reach out to me either via Canvas or via email. And I'm happy to talk with you. So as I mentioned in a couple of my YouTube videos, you're probably going to hear my cat, Bobby. She's a big talker. She likes to help me work, but she's not as helpful as she thinks she is. Um, it's important to note she's a truffle pob cat, so she doesn't have a tail, um, but she will still sit on all of your homework. She and I are working to get used to this new technology together, and maybe you'll get to meet her uh, someday.